Hello friends, today I expanded the storage capacity of an iPhone 15 Pro. We are replacing a 1TB NAND flash for this iPhone. Let's take it apart and take a look. This is a blue machine. Before repair, we need to test the air tightness of this phone. This time we use the bottom vacuum method. Remove one screw. We found signs of paint peeling off the case. After communicating with the customer, customers require continued expansion. Now we start to vacuum out through the screw holes at the bottom. Let's take the Kato and test it first. The vacuum pressure cannot be reached. Let's fasten the tray. Pressure reaches. Need to hold for 20 seconds. Airtight pass. This phone has the original waterproof and dustproof performance. Vacuum through bottom screw hole. We can test the air tightness of the whole machine and the card slot. Now let's activate the phone. Take a look at the storage display on this iPhone. This is the first activation. The customer directly purchases a brand new machine and mails it directly to us. Now let's take a look at the storage space of the phone which is 128 gigabytes. Let's continue by removing the remaining bottom screws. Get ready to start taking apart the screen. Put it into the heated display removal fixture. Evenly heats the surroundings of the phone case. After the temperature reaches, it also needs to continue heating for 2 minutes. OK heating completed. Let's put down the suckers. Slowly lift the screen. The black knob above has torque. It is not easy to damage the case and screen. The screen is already on. We're going to take off the phone. Take off the phone, put on the electrostatic bracelet and start disassembling the screen. It's very clean inside. Next we are going to take apart the screen. Protect the face ID component first. Start removing the screws of the screen protective cover. Remove protective cover. Unlock the battery cable, screen cable. Remove the screen. Next we are going to remove the rear camera. To remove the motherboard, you need to remove the rear camera. Remove the camera. Give it some protection. Next we need to remove the earpiece. Remove the handset. Unlock the cable of the Face ID component. Remove the Face ID component. Start removing the motherboard fixing screws. Disconnect all the cables on the motherboard. Getting ready to remove the motherboard. There is also a rear glass cable on the back of the motherboard. We need to remove the screws of this protective cover. Remove protective cover. Unlock the cable. In this case, the motherboard can be removed. This is the part we replaced. This is NAND flash. Let's compare. One terabyte NAND flash is larger than his. Next we start to remove the NAND flash. First clean the glue around the NAND flash. Today we use hot disassembly. Whether it is hot disassembly or polishing, we can all remove it safely and without damage. Remove NAND flash. Add a little bit of flux. With low temperature tin, clean the solder joints on the motherboard. Clean and smooth. Use solder wick again. Clean up the remaining tin. Then use an air gun and a blade. Clean the vinyl off the bottom of it. This place must be cleaned up. The purpose of cleaning is to avoid false soldering during welding. Let's use solder wick to smooth it out. Wipe clean. This is what it looks like after we clean it up. Next we start to install tin on this 1TB NAND flash. We use medium temperature tin at 183 degrees. At this time we need to blow it into a ball shape. Because the NAND flash solder joints of the 14 series and 15 series are relatively small. So blow it into a ball shape. Blow again. Tin planting completed. 
We put a little flux on the motherboard. Apply it evenly. Then put NAND flash. Uniform heating of NAND flash. After the temperature reaches, we touch NAND flash. Just have an automatic rebound feeling. NAND flash installation completed. Next we start to enter the BGA vinyl at the bottom of the NAND flash. Inject in small amounts several times. Let the vinyl completely flow into the bottom of the NAND flash. The purpose of inserting this vinyl is to improve the anti-aging ability of NAND flash and antioxidant capacity. Okay. The black glue on the bottom has been painted. Next we need to put it into the curing equipment of this BGA vinyl. Perform heat welding. After welding is completed, heat preservation begins. After the insulation is completed, cooling begins. The whole process takes about 40 minutes. Curing completed. Let's take a look at the effect after curing. Next we put new foam on the motherboard. The motherboard has been processed. Next let's clean up the remaining waterproof glue on the case. This place must be cleaned up. After cleaning up, we also need to give the phone a brand new waterproof glue. Let's clean up the remaining waterproof glue around it again. Cleanup completed. Let's clean up the remaining waterproof glue on the screen. Wipe it again. Cleanup completed. Next we start installing the motherboard. First buckle the rear case cable. Replace the protective cover. Install the protective cover screws. Fasten the motherboard. Snap back all the cables on the motherboard. Switch back to face ID component. Replacing the earpiece and speaker. First tighten the screws to the fixed position, then we add torque to it. Handset installation completed. Next, tighten the three fixing screws on the motherboard. Start installing the rear camera. Clean it up. Replace the fixing screws, also give it a fixed torque. Good, next we are going to start applying the new waterproof glue. Peel off the protective film of waterproof glue. Snap on the screen. Replace the protective cover. First, tighten the screw of the protective cover to the fixed position. Then we use a torque screwdriver to tighten the screws. The protective cover is installed. Peel off the last protective film of waterproof glue. We're ready to start putting the screen on. Let's check again before pressing the screen. Make sure there is no problem. Let's start with the screen. Put it into the display adhesive press. Hold pressure for 30 seconds. 75 kilograms average pressure. Just keep the pressure for 30 seconds. Pressure holding completed. Let's screw on the bottom screw first. Reinstalling the card tray. We vacuum again through this screw hole. Test the air tightness of this phone. Start vacuuming. The pressure cannot be reached. Let's put the card back in. Pressure reaches. Hold for 20 seconds. The phone has restored its original waterproof and dustproof performance. Screw on the remaining screws at the bottom.
flash the iPhone after the expansion is completed to flash to the latest system. Okay, let's take a look at the number of charges. Zero times. Now it shows one terabyte. Take a look at the details. It used to be 128 gigabytes. Now it is one terabyte. Let's activate the phone again. Take a look at the memory display on your phone. Let's take a look at the memory on the phone. One terabyte. Put back the original protective sticker.